This video is brought to you by the Corsair Vengeance K70 and K95. These fully mechanical keyboards are designed for performance gaming. Visit Corsair.com slash Vengeance Gaming to learn more. Welcome to my unboxing of the Folk Us, or Focus, or whatever you want to call it. Their domain is Folk.us, and the objective of this product is to help you focus. I have no idea if it's total snake oil or if it's an actual thing, so I decided to buy one. We did not have this review sample provided to us. I just forked over the money. I'm like, okay, I got to see this in action. So their tagline is be fast, be focus. And the implication of that is that this will make you faster and more focused. It uses a technology called TDCS, or Transcranial Direct Current Stimulation. So while there may be evidence that TDCS does do something, it's uh, usually in a clinical setting and it's usually with uh, much different equipment. So this is the first consumer grade device that has gotten FCC approval. There's no FDA certification of any sort on it because it is not considered a medical device. It it is being marketed as a gaming device to help you, well, focus a little bit better. And uh, whether or not these claims are true, I'm sort of, you know, definitely open for to debate. But anyway, the point is that there is, it is not being sold as a medical device. So let's go ahead and open it up, find out what's inside. The first thing we get is a couple of focus stickers. Maybe just staring at those will help you focus. You never know. Uh, we also get a manual and warranty, which shows you how to use it. So the default settings will do one milliamp for 10 minutes. It also shows you on their website how to apply it to your head in a sort of similar to this, but a little bit different graphic. It shows you how to put the sponges on. It really does feel very space -age. Ah, here, it shows you the available TDCS modes. Now it should be noted that not much in terms of clinical trials has been done on the default mode that the Focus runs in, but if you get the accessory pack or extras pack or whatever else it's called, you get a few different things, including some different modes. So you get sinus, pulse, nose, and sham mode. Sham mode is exactly what it sounds like. It's actually faking it so that you can do blind tests and so you can figure out if it actually has any effect. It includes a bunch of extra sponges, so those are dampening sponges, uh, includes whatever these are, some more pads for things, some more wires and doodads. Ah, external, right, these are the external pads and external leads, so you can actually hook them up a little bit differently. All right, we got more of those. Again, another little carrying case as well as evidently a stand for the focus. All right, so there's the extras pack at any rate. I was mostly interested in the additional modes since some of the modes that it enables have been a little bit uh, better investigated. Uh, there's an app that allows you to control it. So you can use the touch sensitive controls on the device itself, or you can use an app in order to adjust from anywhere from 0.8 milliamps to two milliamps and anywhere from five to 40 minutes. So the app is coming soon for iOS, coming soon for Android, and there will be Windows, Mac, and Linux ones as well. So let's have a look at the, oh, okay, I guess so inside here you get a little bottle for dampening your sponges. You also get a charging cable. It uses micro USB because everything does these days, even though it's a big piece of crap. And you get a set, two sets of sponges. Now, our focus appears to have arrived damaged, which is very disappointing, but uh, I can see what happened here. I may attempt a DIY repair, but I would have hoped that, that buying something that's a commercial product versus a DIY product, I would have been able to, uh, you know, just use it out of the box. Moving over to the back of the unit, we find the touch sensitive buttons. So these ones are for adjusting things up and down. This can be used in any number of different ways, whether it's to start Bluetooth pairing, it flashes the logo over here, either blue or red or fading or breathing or whatever to uh, signify different modes and different settings as, you, as you're adjusting things. Wouldn't have minded a little on-screen display because I think that would make life a little bit easier. Uh, down here, we find the charging port as well as an on-off switch and the port for the external electrodes, which were included with our extras kit. So you can either plug in one of them, just like that. So this is a single single lead, or there's, a, there's one that comes with, uh, with dual leads. So there you have it. Now it should be noted that uh, Focus does not recommend using this thing for anything other than sedentary gaming. So it's not like, oh, I want to be better at you know, playing hockey, so I should you know, use this thing for a little bit and uh, hope that that's the effect that it has. They, they're expecting you to just use it for gaming. 
Um, so we'll see how long it takes someone to use it for something other than gaming. Uh, they say there's quite a few you know, various side effects that you could experience. Nausea, headaches, fatigue, visual artifacts. If you experience any of these side effects, stop your session. You may feel tingling, hot or cold sensations. If they become uncomfortable, painful, stop your session. So uh, basically, I mean, from, from sort of a pure common sense perspective, zapping your brain with uh, electrical sort of, you know, nonsense just seems kind of insane, but I'm definitely going to try it out. And we will be following up once we get a working unit with our impressions of the focus once we've had a chance to uh, sit down and try it out a little bit. So very, very exciting. Guys, thank you for checking out my unboxing and overview of the Focus TDCS device. Don't forget to subscribe to Lions Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Thank you.